tires. There's very little that can happen in the South African economy without them. Kids don't get to school, ambulances don't get to hospitals, and CEOs don't get to their businesses where they need to inject millions and billions of rands into our economy. Some might not give it much thought, but what actually happens to our tires when they've reached the end of their lifespan? Well, hopefully they end up in a place like this. As recent as 2011, statistics showed tyre recycling in the country at a paltry 4%. The Recycling and Economic Development Initiative of South Africa, or RADISA, is looking to turn this figure around. RADISA Director Stacey Davidson says South Africans can rest assured their money is being used properly. I'm very happy to say yes it is. I'm even confident enough to say that we are overachieving in all of the areas um, whether it be job creation, whether it be tonnage remediated, or whether it be small business creation. We have overachieved on all of our targets, which is pleasing to, for me to know that what, we've, what the consumer has been spending has been put to use in the best possible way. For the 2 rand 30 per kilogram of tyre that you are now spending, you can rest assured that one, the tyres are being remediated, We've seen that we've moved from a 4% recycling rate to 19% recycling rate in just a very short period of time. We've created over 2,300 jobs. We have established 190 small businesses, and this is nationally. So yes, the money is being put to good use. 80% of everything that Radisa collects is applied to ensuring that this entire industry thrives and can get South Africa to be cleaner environmentally, but also importantly, we need to drive economic growth. And so the monies need to be used to stimulate the supply, the demand, and the market for waste tires. Davidson says the Redisa plan is a first of its kind in the world. The possibilities for further growth and drive towards sustainability throughout the value chain is at the top of their agenda. Well, the beauty of the Redisa plan is that it's a first for the world, simply because it's the first time that both government and industry have collaborated through appointing an independent body to administer the problem. What you have is industry being um, responsible for the manufacture of the product, which eventually becomes waste, but they in the profit-making businesses, and I think where business has failed in the rest of the world is we expect industry to deal with the problem. We utilize that 2 rand 30 per kilo to ensure that the environmental liability that's been created by that product is in fact being dealt with. And that's what we're seeing in South Africa with tire waste. On the government side, they are able to dictate to us what the socioeconomic challenges are in the country. We can focus on a triple bottom line. We can drive environmental impacts and reduce it. We can increase the, the opportunities for job creation and for small business development by now introducing a new commodity which was previously a waste into our economy. And that's exactly what the 2 Rand 30 has been, has been doing for our country. On the 1st of June 2013, tyre manufacturers and importers added the 2 Rand 30 per kilogram levy onto their prices. Dealerships have in turn been passing the cost onto the consumer. Tyres and more regional manager Mike Gatton says Redisa approved transporters collect their waste tyres weekly and that the Redisa plan seems to be working well so far. As a tyre dealership we have to comply with the Redisa requirements and uh, we're also monitored on that through visits from Redisa agents. Uh, there's a charge which uh, the, our tyre suppliers pass on to us which we then pass on to the consumer which is 2 rand 30 per kilogram. And we understand that that covers the administration and the recycling costs uh, from Redisa so that the, the tires can be properly recycled. You know, we're certainly confident that uh, Redisa is working. And feedback from industry and from our own head office and franchisor indicates that everything is fine with Redisa. It's working well. Uh, we, we work with an approved Redisa agent, uh, so he's not employed by Redisa, he runs his own business and uh, he collects the tires on behalf of Redisa. So he's, uh, it's like a two-man operation, a driver and an assistant, and he comes around in a sort of three or four ton truck and collects. One of the pillars of the Redisa plan is the upliftment, transformation and empowerment of individuals and small businesses. Redisa's Midran Depot tire manager Stanley Manghuape says Redisa literally changed his life. I will definitely be one of the owners uh, very soon. You know, that will give me impetus 
and now I'll also be thankful to God because I was unemployed, you know. And at my age to get work, wow, it has improved my life, my health. Obviously, if you are a man, you are not working. You get all these complications because you'll always be asked about food by kids, your wife and kids. So I'm very, very, you know, glad that I'm also contributing towards creating employment. It is estimated that there are between 60 and 100 million tyres in stockpiles and scattered across country. Radice's hurdle now is the juggling act between waste tyre supply and demand and fostering the necessary market for processed and beneficiated products. This is just a fraction of the 244,600 tonnes of tyre which will be locally manufactured and imported into South Africa this year. Radice has set itself a target that about 50% of roughly 180,000 tons of tyre will not end up in South Africa's landfills, but will be recycled and processed. Radisa says the next big step now is to convince business that this waste product is actually a valuable commodity in waiting. This is Michael Appelfane in 7, Johannesburg.